Kayla Thomas from Kids Biz Renologist Power, Kids Biz Live Talk Radio, and now with Media Team Network. Team Biz with fun DIY projects and I know more. you're all probably bored at home right now, but if you like making your own videos, exploring your creativity, uh, making podcasts, join me and many others on this wonderful experience of making our own creations, bringing our visions to life. <laughs> I started commercials at the age of six. And then from there, I started making shows, interviewing many people who inspired me in so many ways. And now, the premise videos. of my show is to give the youth of today, like me, a chance to explore the possibilities of what they can be when they grow up. And I want to share this wonderful opportunity with you. So, if you have any questions, or you want, or if you're interested, go to www.kidzbiz, the number seven, dot org. Also, if you want to find some examples of what I've been doing throughout the years, you can look up Kids Biz, we're not all just power. K I D Z B I Z, we're not all just power on YouTube. You can also find my shows on AT&T, UVerse, Channel 99. hearing this, if you're still interested, visit my website www.kidzbiz, the number 7.org. And remember, it's virtual. Stay safe. God bless. Happy holidays. Hey, parents, get ready for two weeks. This is so great. Kids will love to brush their teeth. My sister tells me I should brush twice a day. Chris for kids. A flavor is so awesome, some kids call it very delicious. Academy, Clarkson, Michigan. For more information, please visit Metro Parent.
What positive message can you give the kids up today? Work hard at whatever it is that you want to do. Um, put God first in family. Man, just practice as much as you can, you know, and study and learn up on it. Whatever you want to do as much as you can. If you want to be a producer, study the greats like Quincy Jones and um, read as many books as you can about the business and, so you don't get screwed around, you know, with people taking things from you. Thank you, Uncle Ralph, for doing my show with me. Of course, anytime. It's family. Whatever you need, I got you. I've been your host, Michaela Thomas. Kids Bizware, knowledge, knowledge is, is power. power. What do you want to be when what you do grow you wanna up? Be? I know what she wants to be. What do you want to be? What positive message can you give the kids up today? Well, for me, uh, the music business is not easy. And don't get into it thinking that you're going to be an overnight sensation. Because that usually does not happen. So, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of hard work. What about you, Uncle RJ? Uh, put a timeline on it, your goal and then be realistic about it. If it's not, if you don't achieve it by that timeline, then have a B plan. Thanks for the opportunity to speak with you today with Kids Biz, where knowledge is power. I'm Anna Christman. I'm here from the Michigan Humane Society. So what Society. are your favorite, favorite animals? So my first favorite animal is a dog. I love dogs. I have five. Um, and then my second favorite animals are bats, actually, which are not generally something that we're caring for at Michigan Humane. Um, so right underneath bats are kitty cats. I love cats very much. <laughs> She is the sweetest little girl here. She loves to play outside. It's her favorite thing to do. Oh, <laughs> come here, ladybug. Hi, Hi, Pablo. Hi, Pablo. Hi. Hello, I'm your host, Michelle Thomas, and welcome to Kids Biz, where knowledge is power. Today, we are going to be speaking with my uncle, Jerome Benton, from the group called The Time. Hello, uncle. Hey, niece and niece. How are you doing, Michelle? I'm good. How are you? What good. positive message can you give the kids of today? The positive message today that I can share with, with kids is that there's rules. There's rules to life. Obedience, commitment, love, and God. What positive message do you give to Oh, I would like to just tell the kids to make sure that they enjoy being kids and also to follow what their parents say and also to make sure they keep the environment clean because what they're doing is setting it up for future generations. So how can we, as young people, engage in helping our community? I think you're engaged in helping your community by being aware of the needs of others around uh, you. You can also help by volunteering. There's a lot of organizations uh, that want youngsters who can come and volunteer to do various things. And I think it's easy to do that and it's easy to get the sense of satisfaction because what you do for others often gives you the greatest satisfaction. We're here with Mr. Ryan Farley, who had worked on Ozark, the hit Netflix TV show. What positive message can you give the youth of today? Well, I think, it, you know, I was sort of touching on it a little when you say, you know, what would you say to, you know, the people who are aspiring, you know, to do what you do. And I guess the youth is like, I... I want to listen to the youth more than I think the youth should listen to you me. Know, I was a kid in Metro Detroit who would have never really thought that what I do for a living is an option. And I worked my, you know, butt off and had some luck along the what way. What positive message do you give the kids of today? 
the most positive thought that you can, any human, and especially boys and girls, can keep in their mind is to be happy, be healthy, and to be present every day with what is going on in their life and in the world, and just think about those things and uh, make a difference whenever they can to make someone else happy, healthy, and I always smart. think the best thing we can do with children is ask questions. This is I in Detroit on CBS 62, and I'm Jackie Page. Move over Oprah Winfrey. There could be a new interview queen in the future. Our Crystal Knight introduces us to an 11-year-old YouTube star who interviews local celebrities and political figures. She has her own television talk show, YouTube channel, radio show, and she helps in charity around the community. Who is she? Meet 11-year-old, that's right, 11-year-old Michaela Thomas. For those who don't know, tell me what the name of your show is. My show is called Kids Biz for Knowledge is Power. And why that name? Because kids need to know or be informed by step-by-step -step process of what they want to be when they grow up. Because some families, they don't teach their kids that. So we want to make sure that, that they get the proper information. Today we are going to be speaking with my uncle, Jerome Benton from the group called The Time. I am so excited to be sitting here talking to you, Michaela, because you're a local celebrity now. You do know that, right? Yes. Okay, which is what you wanted though, right? Yes. Okay, now, all right, did you come up with that name? Um, no, actually my mother did. Okay, all right. So tell me, Kids Biz, it's where knowledge is power and you help kids find out what it is, what they want to be when they grow up. Tell me how that works. I want you to pretend like I'm on your show. What would uh you do? Um, let's say I would say, what inspired you to be what you are today? Wow, should I answer that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what inspired me to be what I am today is 
I started off watching the news as a small child and I really loved uh, the way they put the stories together and I've been talking since I came out of my mom's womb so I decided to put those two things together and here I am. What positive message can you give the kids of today? Wow, the first thing I would tell them is to stay in school. Stay in school uh, no matter how hard it gets, you need an education. And the second thing I would tell them is to believe in yourself. You know, keep the faith and believe that you can do it. My personal faith in God helps me. I, that is something I would also encourage them to do. You know, find that strength that's bigger than you so that that will propel you forward. So now, Michaela, I also know that uh, in addition to Kids Biz, you are a person who loves taking care of other people. Yes, I am. So you're, you're already like a big time celebrity. You know, they all have causes. <laughs> and so you have a cause and you help others. Tell me about that. Well, I've helped Daniel, Elijah, and Amber, who had cancer. Hmm. Okay, and what did you do for them? Well, we, first of all, I interviewed Amber. She is, well, she was at Skull Island. Okay. And um, we've become really good friends. And what I've done for her is, well, from the money that we make from our t-shirts, we give a little back to the people who need help. That's what we did with Amber. And that's what we're going to do with other families that are in need, that need our help. Mm -hmm. And I know that there was a write-up about uh, some of the things that you've done in the Oakland Press and other uh, media outlets here. How does this make you feel to be getting all this attention? Um, honestly, I don't need it, but all I am doing here is making sure that people get what they need, especially when they need to know their like job options and step-by-step -step processes of the profession that they want to be. And I like, I love helping people. I can tell. So the big question, Michaela, what do you want to be when you grow up? I am thinking about becoming a lawyer. Oh. and still having my own TV show okay. so I can still inform the people of what they can be when they grow up. So already at just 11 years old, Michaela Thomas is on her way to becoming the next Gail King or maybe just representing her in her first case. Either way it goes, there is a bright future ahead for this young lady from Oakland County. For Eye on Detroit, I'm Crystal Knight.